Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about a trick to um, enable um, digital to analog converter in um, PIC and CUs that, it, that um, essentially they don't have DAC in the datasheet. Uh, so if you open the datasheet of uh, your um, microcontroller for example, in my case, it's PIC 24FJ 128GL 306. If you look closely, you don't see any uh, DAC uh, in the data shed. Even if you search for the word, uh, you cannot find that. But um, there is another option so-called uh, voltage comparator i found accidentally found that when i was looking at data sheet when i saw a resistor um, ladder which is the basic of digital to analog control so if you search for voltage um, comparator you see um, this image in comparative voltage reference uh, as you can see, um, there is a resistor ladder there, which is um, 32 stages or 5 bit uh, DAC. And interestingly, you can use that. And um, if you look at the um, pin, uh, in you should find that um, in, in the in the pins data shed. Uh, in this data shed, it says CV ref, and you can easily find the pin number for that uh, port, which you can get uh, analog voltage. Um, this voltage will be um, selected based on the register, so called um, CVR. Um, this register you can uh, see that there are five bits, 32 stage, and um, you can have different uh, voltage uh, values based on the input pins or internal um, voltage, um, VDD and VSS. Okay, so this is the register of CVRCon. Uh, that's the one that uh, you can um, define 15 bits and uh, use in your uh, program. Uh, as you can see, 5 bits decide the voltage value at the output and different options you have. Either give an input voltage and just divide that the difference into 32 steps or use the internal voltage of the board. All of these information you can find uh, here in this uh, plot. And uh, all the things I mentioned will be here. I suggest you um, check the data sheet and read that page uh, carefully before doing the programming. In MPLAB IDE where you write your code, you just uh, select File, New Project, Standalone Project. And here you choose your uh, microcontroller model number. Uh, in my case, it is uh, PIC FJ 128 GL 302. And then here you should choose the 
uh, PIC kit uh, programmer name. Here you choose the compi compiler. For mine is 16 bit. You can have eight or other numbers based on your microcontroller number. And here you choose the name for your project. Okay, now you should um, create a C file for the code you want to add later. So you just create a new C file in here. Uh, here's the place you can write your code. Um, but before that, you have to configure your uh, MCU. So here you have different options um, like uh, oscillator source. Uh, you can choose external oscillator, um, internal RC oscillator with dividers, with PLL and other things. And if you generate the code, you can just copy and paste the configuration codes before your main uh, code. So that's very easy here. Now you have to insert your code in this uh, main um, part. You can add the um, following codes and I'm going to explain one by one. Right, so here we define the uh, oscillator frequency. Um, this is not necessarily, but um, you can use this for giving delays. Uh, I'm still working on delay function in MPLAB. There are many concerns and uh, complaints on the internet regarding that it's not working uh, and there's some error in the MP lab on that so I'm gonna give uh, delays with the f with dummy for for loops here um, so my uh, voltage uh, comparator is on port B as in datasheet. Uh, yours might be different, so check to uh, check your datasheet for the port. Uh, for mine was CV reference, CV ref. Uh, yours might be different, but you have to make that port as an output, which I did here. Also, port G here in my port is a LED. I just want to have that so but it's not um, um, necessarily for your case maybe all right we define our variables and the, the while loop first uh, to simultaneously send the voltage as an output and we have to define 32 steps and change the register I mentioned in datasheet based on these 32 variables and as you can see the first five bits this decide what is the um, resistor in the system or the steps so we have to um, define the register first five bits is the steps the next tree decides if you want to use the internal voltage or uh, voltage from two inputs uh, 
zero and one and also enabling this um, output port so all of them is in your data sheet it might be a little different but essentially you just have to give the uh, bit stream or bit register uh, to that um, variable all right so here I defined 32 steps and my dummy delay and this is for the first voltage which um, the five bits will be zero 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 right and for the next 31 steps I'm gonna uh, use a logical and and or so I'm gonna use and for the I and my um, initial register bits and or with the result so in when i increases we can get um uh, increase in voltage on the output All right, so we are done. Now I'm gonna um, load the code on the chip using my programmer. And you can see it's verified and uploaded successfully. Right, so I'm using PIC Kit 3 to upload that, and as you can see on my on the output voltage, you see that we have increased in the voltage 32 steps, and then the decrease into the low voltage, and again increase to the high voltage. I also try to bring it to one step so you can see this is a bit that's gonna happen and I put a dummy for loop in between uh, just to show you the um, without using for loop um, here right so I'm uploading on the chip And if we look at the spectrum, and let me connect the port, and you see the steps exactly 32, and the shift and the voltage that causing the, the frequency. Okay, and this is the uh, zoomed version can see 32 steps easily thanks for watching and check my website for more details